Today we're going to hit three different things for this video. We're going to hit tuning gears, we're going to hit inlays, and we're going to hit nut material. Okay, so, in the beginning of the historic line, uh, up until 2002, the tuning gears were in the wrong alignment. Tuning gears on historics in that era were straight on the headstock. Okay, In 2002, they corrected that to like this, which is the way it's supposed to be. Why Gibson couldn't get that right for eight fucking years, we know why. But um, but they corrected that. That was a that was a massive correction, which was was really nice that they finally did that. The tuning gears from that era. Now the tuning gears from '93 to about 2014. If I'm remembering that right, 13, 14. The tuning gears, now this guitar's tuning gears have been upgraded many years ago. Um, these, however, I just recently put these on about a year ago. These are upgrades from the upgrade that I had already put on there. I had loot tips on here. I know people don't want loot tips. We'll go into loot tips, whatever that is later on. Um, the early 90s, Cluson's from 93 to about 14. 2014, 20, by 14 they were fixed, but yeah, that's my that's my serial numbers of kiss my ass. Um, in the back you see these tuning gears. These tuning gears have buttons that the plastic is swirly and translucent. You can see through it. And in the back, let's see if we get really close here for those who don't know. Really close. See, it has Cluson Deluxe in a single line. Single ring, single line. 59, 58, 57, 56. That's how it's supposed to be. 1960, double ring, single line. It always should say Cluson Deluxe in a single line. The tuning gears back in the 90s, up to 2014, 2013, were green tipped. The tuning button was smaller than it's supposed to be, and in the back it said Cluson Deluxe in two lines. Okay, those were obviously wrong tuners for the for the era of the guitar it's supposed to be. Most of us just pulled them off and put the repos on. I did that immediately. This is an 07, so the 07 had the green fucking shitty fucking The tuners were good. It's not that they were bad tuners. They were Clusons, but they just weren't right for the the guitar you're making a 59 less ball make it correctly so we took them off and we put them on the better ones on now there was a guy named uncle lou uncle lou used to have a website and uncle lou sold bursts he sold maxes he sold all kinds of stuff. this was before the historic line even came out what uncle lou also did is he made repo parts and he had little tips and he used to call them uncle lou tips and what you did is if this this was mainly for bursts because in bursts these things shrink in time some of them do so you know when they shrink it they're shitty so uh, what he did is he made the tips the correct tips the correct plastic swirly translucent and so if your burst shrunk you could pull that off and put a new one on and still have the same machine and you know the whole thing so of course you know historic guys got a hold of these things and you heat up your soldering iron, you heat the damn thing, you pull this little thing off, and believe it or not, it's really simple to fix this. You just put it back on, let go, and it, that's it. You're done. You just gotta make sure you put it in the you know the right depth and everything like that. That's what we used to do. Today we don't have to do that. Today they use the correct tuning gears, the translucent, nice, swirly, the correct size. It says Cluson Deluxe in the back. They're very nice, actually. Um... So that's why I changed these. I took the loot tip ones I have off, I put them on another guitar, and 23 always gets the best parts. Okay, bushings also changed. Bushings are the little things that go in between here. Okay, these bushings I left because changing a bushing is a real pain in the ass, and you know, you. 
banging on the headset, you know what I mean? It, yeah, so I just left it. But they went through many different incarnations of the bushing to get them correct shape throughout the years. Um, right now, they should be correct. And I think they were corrected around 20, 2010, 2011. They've been changing. They've changed them constantly throughout the years, the bushings. Not many people notice it because not many people give a shit about the bushing, really, but most of us do. So that's the tuning gears. Um, as to Grovers, some bursts have Grovers on them. Well, this is for Alex. There was a line called Custom Authentics. And the idea of Custom Authentic was that it was aged, but it wasn't a Murphy aged. It wasn't a VOS. It was a little bit more than a VOS. The idea was, you know how you have a lot of bursts, and you know, they, people, they remove these things. Even Jimmy Page removed them. He put Grovers on them, right? Well, that was the idea. That you can get a burst, right? So a historic burst with Grovers, and then it was like used, worn in kind of thing. They were great guitars. Um, they were a little bit priced slightly less. Um, Gibson comes out with a lot of things. That's what the true historic thing was. You know, that's what the VOS thing was. That's what the Cloud Nine thing was. That's what Stingers are. Um, there are Stingers. There's a lot of different models. We can go into that too in another video. But so sometimes you're going to get a few non-custom authentics that had Grovers put on them. Because Gibson will do that occasionally when they have like leftover stuff, they'll put it out anyway, or they'll put it out, and you know, some dealers like that. Some dealers actually order them with the Grovers on them. They'll do that. Um, there's a lot of little sub things that come out throughout the years, little things here and there. But that's where it came from, putting the Grovers on the uh, the bursts. Let's talk about inlays. Inlays was a big, big deal. Inlays now, as you see them here on this one, it's a 2007, they're sharp, right? The corners are sharp. All the corners are sharp. From 93 till 2002, they were not. The corners were rounded. And they were rounded as, which is basically that comes from the USA line. Because all Les Pauls, period, or Gibson's, that, but they did. It was easier. It's easier to make the inlay, so you just, you know, cut it out. And stick it right in to make something with sharp corners you know come on you have to route out this rosewood perfectly to basically stick that in there so it's much harder to do it this way than that way that changed also in 2002 um, people didn't like but still don't like the material that they're made out of they think it's too swirly I don't have a problem with it I don't mind it but they do make reproduction inlays. You could just drill a little hole. I know you pop them out, you put the new ones in, you glue the new ones in, and they're more like bursts, you know, material-wise. But they're the same shape. Again, I don't mind the swirliness. I don't think it's that much of a big difference that I need to drill a little hole and pull this thing out of my fucking guitar. Again, but it was fixed um, the materials the material has gone through a lot of changes throughout the years. Sometimes, they, again, remember, Gibson will change things to the line without announcing it. They do that a lot. Um, you just got to check it. You say, oh, that looks a little different. Because oh, yeah, they, they, they're trying something out. If it works, then they're like, oh, look what we did. You know, they're buying a new guitar, you know, that kind of thing. Um, nut material. Now, this was another big thing, but this didn't change right away. The nut material on this guitar is the plastic jobby. Um, no need to change it. Works fine for me. Don't mind it. Um, it's supposed to be nylon. Today they're nylon, and that was changed probably around 2014, 2013. Is nylon better? Does it make the tone sound difference? different? Different? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. My uh, burst with the nylon nut, as opposed to this burst that doesn't have the nylon nut, is it, it said they, you don't notice any difference whatsoever. But it is more historically correct to have the nylon. That's why. And it should be nylon, because we're all 
anal retentive bastards and we need the correct thing. I haven't changed this because there's no real reason. And again, this is 23 and you know, it's like kind of like, oh, what if, what if I change that and all of a sudden the guitar is no longer the special guitar, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I left it. I don't fuck with it. Um, everything else has been changed for that. But the bridge and this is, you know, that's why I left it. So, in regards to those three things, 2002 was a big deal. And there's a reason why 2002 was a big deal. 2002 and 2003. Uh, I gotta do a video specifically on those that those two years. It was a very... It was a very nasty thing Gibson did to their customers. It wasn't really nice at all. Um, it was a very big marketing thing that happened. Uh, it, it, we, like I said, we should. I'll do a video on that specifically. It was. It was. It was pretty nasty what they did. But remember, when you're going to look at a pre 2002, pre 2002. You have tuning gear alignment will be straight, and the inlays will be round. Dead tail off tail. Um, we can go through the parts another day, but you know to to recognize what's a what year is what, what year is what isn't what. It's very easy to tell if you know what you're looking at. Um, you could always tell, oh, that's a 2014, and that's a pre 2002, and that's a this is this. You instantly know, and instantly. Um, it's getting a little harder now because there's nothing left to fucking change, so <laughs> they're getting everything pretty. That's it. Which is why they rename everything. They have no way. Once you get something perfect, where are you going to go? You know what I'm talking about? Where are you going to go? Oh, we changed the next again this year. Uh, we got the top cuff correct. It, this is what I'm talking about with them. It's redundant every year, every year. Because they. You made something perfect, that's it. You're done, right? Just buy it. <laughs> buy a whole bunch of them. All right, so that's that. Oh, wait. Let's do one more. Bonus feature. Bonus feature. Dot markers. Okay? Before 2002, they were black. 2002 after, they were tortoise shell. And it's very hard to say, it's very hard to see, so there's no point in me even fucking zooming into this because you can't really see them, you have to really look at them. Maybe you can use a flashlight sometimes to see them, sometimes you won't even see it. But, they're supposed to be tortoise shell. Okay, that's what they're supposed to be. It's not real tortoise shell, but you know what I'm talking about. Before 2002, black. 2002 after, correct. 